Despite providing free education in Kenya, learning in sub-Saharan Africa has remained slow and expensive. But Brick, a local software developing company, has come to the aid of rural poor schools by the provision of a tablet called Kio. Here's more. We are going to use that. Education standards in the continent remain largely low. This is attributed to lack of requisite infrastructure, especially electricity, and poor adoption of technology by learning institutions. However, this trend is likely to be reversed with increased need to make technology part of the learning mix. Here you have all of these factors around connectivity and energy and access all coming together to at sometimes become an obstacle to the learning experience. If you're able to solve that here in a way that is going to be best for this environment, then you have other environments that offer some of those same obstacles, maybe not as uh, severe as what we've seen in some locations in Africa, but certainly these are obstacles that once solved are solved everywhere. In Kenya, the government has time and again indicated its desire to improve the learning standards by introducing laptops to schools. However, this is yet to materialize. Riding on this wave, a team of software developers behind the successful BRIC concept are set to transform the sector in the continent. They are introducing tablets to African rural schools. If you want to make real change happen in Africa, you start with education. And now technology is no silver bullet. But what we're trying to create here is something that brings a lot of efficiencies and brings the same access to learning to students in Africa, whether they're rural and unconnected or digital and connected in Nairobi, all over the continent. The tablet known as Kio is contained in a suitcase kit that acts as a charger when the Kio tablets are being stored. The Kio is narrowing the learning gap and technological learning between the teachers and the pupils. By no means can technology ever replace the role of a teacher in a classroom. Learning is a very complex and a beautiful process that really can't be reduced to a series of algorithms. But yes, we, if there is a bridge needed until t uh, teachers come back to school, we're really hoping that technology can assist there. It's a lot of effort for a teacher to handle a class, a class of 40 students, some, some places in Kenya, 60 students. So, Whatever we can do to make her job easier, from the time the bell rings to the time learning is supposed to start, we need to just reduce that friction, reduce that disruption, and make it as easy and seamless as and possible. And that's where like, the really great design lies. This kit has been specifically designed for rural Africa to increase uptake of technology in learning. One of the important things about any solution that you bring to technology in Africa is it needs to be, needs to be Africanized a little bit. That means you need to think about the things that don't happen elsewhere where you have better infrastructure. So here it's the bumps and, and, and bruises that kids will have with tablets, or it's the uh, connectivity by 3G as well as any other means. It's the, it's the ability to make things waterproof and dustproof. These are important things for everyday life in Africa. In this quest, the developers say they are keen on making the tablet a hit in schools and revolutionize education in the continent. Already, there are plans to move the kids assembly to Kenya. This will improve its content update and remove cost barriers. The idea is that you can take a kit into any classroom, you can turn it on and make it a digital schoolroom immediately. And when you do that, this isn't just one time. The content trickle loads and updates on its own. So that a year from now, three years from now, you're able to see and do new content that changes with the times.